you've likely heard about honey's antimicrobial and anti-inflammatory properties. But have you considered it for treating diabetic foot ulcers? My name is Dr. Andrew Schneider, a podiatrist based in Houston with over two decades of experience. Different types of honey can vary greatly in their healing potential. And it's essential to remember that professional oversight is necessary. Honey isn't a miracle cure, but could it be used as an effective adjunct treatment? In today's video, we'll focus on the potential of honey as a treatment option for diabetic foot ulcers. Before I do, I wrote a book all about diabetic foot ulcers. I'd like to send you a copy as a gift. Visit www.footulcerbook.com to request your copy. Also, let others know about these videos. Please like, comment, hit the subscribe button, and share on social media. This will help others find the information they need. Before we explore the potential benefits of honey, it's important to understand what diabetic foot ulcers are and how they develop. A diabetic foot ulcer is fundamentally an open sore or wound that occurs in approximately 15% of patients with diabetes and is commonly located on the bottom of the foot. These ulcers are a significant health concern because they can lead to severe complications if left untreated. Despite their potential dangers, diabetic foot ulcers aren't always immediately noticeable due to neuropathy that often accompanies diabetes, which can dull your sense of pain. You might not notice that you've developed an ulcer until you visually inspect your feet and discover the open wound. These ulcers result from the breakdown of skin and underlying tissues. They can expose the inner layers of your foot, making it susceptible to infection. In severe cases, ulcers can penetrate to the bone. They're classified by their depth, the presence of infection, and the amount of tissue damage. Treatment typically involves cleaning and dressing the wound, maintaining blood glucose levels, and sometimes surgery. It's important to get medical attention promptly if you suspect a diabetic foot ulcer, as early treatment can prevent serious complications. While managing diabetic foot ulcers often involve medical intervention, natural remedies like honey have shown promising results in facilitating the healing process. You may question how honey, a substance we usually associate with tea, sweet treats, and breakfast foods can be instrumental in treating a medical condition as serious as a diabetic foot ulcer. It's not as far-fetched as it sounds. Honey, particularly Manuka honey, possesses strong antibacterial properties. This natural ingredient is rich in antioxidants and has an acidic pH, creating a hostile environment for bacteria. Its osmotic effects aid in drawing out fluid from the wound promoting a faster healing process. There's also the release of low levels of hydrogen peroxide, a known disinfectant, which further boosts its antimicrobial properties. Multiple scientific studies have backed these claims. One such study reported a significant reduction in wound size and bacterial infection after applying honey dressings to the ulcers. Another highlighted its potential in reducing inflammation and promoting tissue regeneration. Harnessing the natural antibacterial qualities of honey, it's been found to effectively combat the bacteria commonly found in diabetic foot ulcers. You may wonder how this sweet substance often found in your kitchen can do such a thing. It's all down to its unique chemical composition. Honey is rich in glucose oxidase, an enzyme produced by bees. When it comes into contact with a wound, it breaks down to produce hydrogen peroxide, a potent antibacterial agent. This reaction creates an inhospitable environment for bacteria, preventing their growth and perforation. Moreover, honey boasts a low pH and high sugar content. This combination draws moisture out of bacterial cells via osmosis, effectively dehydrating them and leading to their demise. The high sugar content also impedes bacterial growth by making the environment too hypoosmolar for them to survive. Lastly, honey contains polyphenols, potent antioxidants with antibacterial properties. These compounds can inhibit the activity of certain bacteria, including Staph aureus and Pseudomonas aeruginosa, both culprits in diabetic foot ulcers. Diving deeper into the properties of honey, it's clear that the role of promoting wound healing goes beyond its impressive antibacterial qualities. Honey, with its high viscosity, forms a protective barrier that prevents infection and locks in moisture, therefore, fostering an ideal environment for healing. 
This moist environment not only promotes granulation, but also assists the migration of epithelial cells. The acidity of honey is another significant factor. With a pH typically between 3.2 and 4.5, honey creates an environment that's unfavorable for many bacteria, reducing infection risk. Moreover, honey's acidity helps to release oxygen from hemoglobin, enhancing the oxygenation of the wound and promoting healing. Honey's high sugar content also plays a crucial role. It draws out lymph, effectively diluting bacterial concentrations and depriving them of water, which they need to grow and multiply. Additionally, the sugar content provides energy for the regenerating tissue. Lastly, honey has an anti-inflammatory action which reduces swelling and pain, and its antioxidant properties help to scavenge harmful free radicals. In this way, honey's multifaceted properties combine to promote wound healing in a uniquely effective way. In light of numerous studies, it's clear that honey possesses significant healing properties, particularly when it comes to the treatment of ulcers. You'll find that various types of honey, including Manuka honey, have been investigated for their therapeutic benefit. One study published by the Journal of Wound Care found that honey's high sugar content helped promote an osmotic effect, drawing out fluid from the wound and inhibiting bacterial growth. This assists in creating a moist wound environment essential for optimal healing. Additionally, the honey's low pH levels boost the release of oxygen from hemoglobin, encouraging the growth of new tissue. Furthermore, honey's anti-inflammatory effects have been well documented. The study in the International Journal of Lower Extremity Wounds noted reduced inflammation of honey-treated wounds, contributing to pain reduction and overall improved patient comfort. It's important to mention that while these studies show promising results, more thorough research is needed. However, the existing evidence undeniably supports honey's potential as a natural remedy in ulcer treatment. As it stands today, Manuka honey stands out in the medical world due to its unique potent properties. Originating from the nectar of the Manuka tree, found only in New Zealand and parts of Australia, it's not your average honey. What sets it apart is a compound called methogloxal or MGO, which is found in higher concentrations than in other types of honey. This compound gives Manuka honey its strong antibacterial properties. It's this MGO that's measured when determining a Manuka honey's unique Manuka factor, an industry standard used to denote the potency and quality of the honey. A higher unique Manuka factor score indicates a higher concentrate of MGO and hence more potential antibacterial properties. Moreover, Manuka honey can also contain a high level of antioxidants, which helps fight inflammation. This makes it particularly effective in wound healing, including diabetic foot ulcers, as it not only aids in killing bacteria, but also reducing inflammation and promoting tissue regeneration. Despite the potential benefits of honey for diabetic foot ulcers, it's not always the best choice, as there are always certain considerations and precautions to keep in mind. For instance, if you're allergic to pollen or other bee-related substances, using honey can potentially trigger an allergic reaction. It's important to test a small patch of skin before applying honey broadly. Also, honey may not be the best choice if your ulcer is deep or heavily draining, as honey is a topical treatment and may not effectively reach or treat the base of deep wounds. Additionally, honey's high sugar content can create a moist environment that might not be suitable for heavily draining wounds, potentially encouraging bacterial growth. Furthermore, the use of honey shouldn't replace conventional treatments without a healthcare provider's guidance. While honey has antimicrobial properties and can assist in wound healing, it's not a one-size-fits-all solution and should not be relied on as a sole treatment. Finally, not all honey, even Manuka honey, is created equal. It's essential you use medical-grade honey to ensure there are no other additives that will adversely affect the healing of your foot ulcer. Raw, unpasteurized honey may contain harmful bacteria like botulism, especially risky for those with a compromised immune system, a common trait in diabetics. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Please take a moment to like, comment, and share on social media. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss another video. Be sure to request my free book about diabetic foot ulcers. You can order your copy at www.footulcerbook.com. The link is in the description. If you have a diabetic foot ulcer, be sure to get a comprehensive evaluation before you run off to buy any type of honey. I'm happy to consult with you. The link to request an appointment is in the description.
Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.